So a moment ago, Joe, you mentioned for master tuners, they might like to look at the ECM software, but just to take that back a step, maybe not everyone's quite sure of what a master and a slave version, which of course is the other option. Can you just talk us what the differences are of the two tools? Sure. So the master tool is used by tuning companies who are actually developing their own files. The data that's read with a master tool is saved in a raw binary format, which can be loaded into an editing suite ECM Titanium, um, where they can actually work on the file and create their modified files, whether that be a standard uh, performance file or a stage file with uh, various other bits and pieces. Uh, the slave tool uh, reads the data and saves it in an encrypted format. So the tool user can't actually do anything with that data. That is sent off to the master tuner uh, who have the unique algorithm to decode that so that they can do the work on the file and create the modified file. Yeah, but I, th I think what's really important to un understand about, you know, from a customer point of view, the difference between a slave and a master. Uh, with a slave tool is you're tied to a master, so you're actually tied to your file provider and you can only purchase your files from, from that one business. With a master tool, you're actually free to go and buy your files from whoever you want. Um, yeah. So it just gives you a bit more kind of freedom if you need to use maybe a kind of specialist somewhere for a, you know, for a specialist job. Um, it shows you're just not tied um, and just gives you some, maybe a little bit more flex flexibility. flexibility. We have a lot of um, master tool users who not only develop their own files, but then they will buy files from various different sources. So it may be that they are using a particular company for commercial files and they may be using a different tuning company for uh, cars and light commercials. Um, so yeah, having a master tool does, does give you a degree of flexibility. And I think importantly, probably about, again, having a slave tool is it's really important to find somebody who can give you the backup you need. Um, they can get you your file within an hour or half an hour, you're not waiting around all day with a customer sat there waiting for his tune and they've got that technical support and kind of backup, someone you can phone. Again, you know, if you've got any questions, just, just give us a call. It's as simple as that, yeah, we've got a list of people who, um, who we can recommend.